Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Um, a lot's happened. I haven't done a sit down video in such a long time and so um, I thought it would be a really good time to do that. I got my hair dyed and I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, I haven't done a good sit down video in a little bit so I wanted to do a quick little like update video let you guys kind of know what's been going on and obviously based on the title of this video um tell you guys about um ux stuff a quick little update for you guys and a little like recap so i know i haven't posted as much on this channel um, I've just had honestly so much going on and there's actually I'm gonna make an update update video this is an update video but I have an announcement coming um, that I'll probably post maybe like next week I just completed my UX online um, course and I wanted to give you guys a little update as to what I thought of it my kind of final thoughts now that I have sort of completed the course, gone through it, finished my case study, and just kind of like overall thoughts about it because I haven't seen that many people actually post here on YouTube about that. Okay, so if you guys saw my video from a long time ago, <laughs> I think it was posted in like January or December or January or something, but I did a six week online UX UI design course. As many of you guys probably know, I got laid off last year and I spent a lot of time just really thinking about like what do I want to do next? Do I want to go get another job? Like what exactly is it that I want? And I've talked about this before, but I probably haven't done a video on it in a long time. But basically, I never saw myself having like a dream job. Like I never saw like a dream company or like having that kind of life. I've always seen myself doing like I want to act. I want to make music. I want to do, you know, YouTube and like content creation and like all those things that I personally am like that I personally really enjoy doing and find a way to kind of make money from all of this so instead of having like a normal nine to five job like I was just like I would rather just have five different methods of creating a salary for myself basically. I basically stumbled upon UX UI design because I was like okay well I need something in the interim before you know obviously things like YouTube, content creation, acting, music, all that stuff takes time and I need kind of something in the interim to you know pay my bills <laughs> obviously the roles in the tech space are super super important and they're growing and they're doing really well but i'm also not a super super tech person so i stumbled upon ux ui design because it's kind of a combination of being creative in like a technical field and the more i looked into it the more i got interested in, in it and then i ended up taking my course i want to give you guys a quick little rundown of what i thought about my course what i thought about the whole thing with ux ui design and just sort of my final thoughts and how i hope to do it in the future i'm going to start by saying i really enjoyed it I did not think that's what was gonna happen. I thought I would be like, okay, surface level, this sounds good, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna really like love it, but I really, really enjoyed it. And for me, since I ran a business before and I created my own website and stuff before, coming in with that level of like background actually helped me a lot because a lot of UX UI design is also like website design, um, but also things like, you know, app design. I would honestly recommend doing this if you're someone who, um, really like psychology if you really like marketing if you are like a creative person and you really like to design maybe you're looking for something that has a little bit more like a foundation to it and that you can apply to more of like a job scenario I would highly recommend looking into this because it literally combines all of those things it's literally the entire process of like when you are a user like how would a user think how would a user use these things what's the user's process like how can I make this easier I found that it was like a perfect combination of combining all of these things that I really really like doing so yeah if you're someone who's interested in any of those things or maybe you're in this process of figuring out like what you want to do to make some money I would definitely check it out. What I really like about it is it gives you a lot of room for like deciding what you want to do. So you can take a boot camp, like a six week course, like what I just did, and then go and apply for jobs and get like a full-time job. There have been people who did my program who are now working like 
with a really nice starting salary. I think starting salaries, even as like a junior, like a very beginning junior level designer are around the 70 to 80 range, um, depending on where you work, which is a really nice starting salary. So you can either do full-time, you can do contracting work. So there's a lot of people who do like contract to hire where they might start contracting for a big company and then get brought on full time or you could just contract or you could go down the freelance route which is what I'm planning on doing. What's really nice about this is it gives you a lot of different options so if you find that okay I really want structure, I really want to have a constant paycheck, I really want to have you know a whole team of people to work with then you can totally go down like the corporate like full-time like working route and do that. There are they're literally hiring so many UX UI designers. So if you're someone who just likes research, you could totally just do research. If you like design, you could just do design. If you wanna do something a little bit more 3D, you can go down the VR path. Like there's so many options that are available to you. And what's cool about it is you can start in one thing and then you know take another course to learn maybe a little bit more about something else and keep kind of changing yourself up. You guys are gonna do like an online course basically to get yourself either a job or an internship or something, you're gonna need what's called a case study. That basically is like you took a project from literal like ID, like ID, <laughs> you took a project from a total like idea and then did all of this like research, built it all out, did the wireframes, did the full design to a final product basically, um, final like working prototype. So that is what you'll need. So if you guys are gonna do any courses, please make sure that they do end you with having a full-blown case study because you need at a minimum of two to get hired anywhere and even if you're gonna freelance or you're gonna start taking on clients that maybe you know that is gonna be kind of their way of seeing like what you did and what you're kind of capable of it's like anything in any design or creative field if you don't have a portfolio of some sort that they can really reference your resume is good but it's not really that informative as far as like what you actually do design wise so yeah you can go down the job route or what i'm planning to do is go down the freelancing route i've been warned by other people it's not for everybody if you're someone who has never dealt with like running your own business or managing yourself or time management or and you don't want to do other aspects of like you constantly have to find yourself work and you have to be marketing and doing all this other stuff freelance is probably not the best option for you however for me because i'm thinking of it as being more of like a supplemental thing that i can do while i'm doing all of my other things it is like the perfect avenue for me because i can make my own hours i can take on all the projects that i want to do take on as little projects as i want to do i can work anywhere at any time i don't report to anybody but myself and i work with my clients on my own schedule which is literally the most ideal thing for me. The only downfall obviously with freelancing is if that's gonna be your main bread and butter, um, you obviously have to always be your own advocate. You need to constantly be finding yourself work because if you have a month of dry work, that means you have no money. <laughs> so um, if that's something you're not used to, if you're not okay with going you know, a couple weeks or maybe a couple months without having any work and then you're not good with that, this might not be the path for you or if you don't like having to constantly reach out to people you have to literally be the person from getting the contract through the whole way through if you're not if you don't like doing that if you're not good at managing your own time and freelancing is probably not your best option but if you're looking for something that is flexible something that can work for you this is a great option i want to warn you guys i'm making this video and i haven't actually officially started freelancing yet i'm currently working on another case study for a client so this is kind of this is through the program i'm doing so i'm not getting paid for this project but it's just another one to add into my case study so i have two case studies that are done but this is more of like a real life example this is a real business where it's a real client um i'm just not billing for it obviously because i'm still learning and adding this to my portfolio but this is a really good stepping stone for me to then go off and do that the course that i did was only six weeks long you can find boot camps anywhere from like six weeks to six months to like a year long it really depends on really what you want at the end some of them promise you a job at the end some of them um promise you an internship some of them are like we don't make any promises but we give you the like good connection so you really just need to find the program that works best for you and gets you to the end goal that you want to achieve i'm excited to kind of start and 
finally make some money that would be really nice if you guys have any other questions make sure you throw them in the comments i'll try to answer them the best that i can again i'm not a professional i literally just finished my course and i am finishing up another project and then i'm going to start freelancing so i definitely don't know everything i'm definitely new at this i'm just sort of sharing my thoughts but i just wanted to let you guys know in case any of you guys were interested and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.